The Romans and the Greeks were so used to being surrounded by symbols of their deities. They began doing the same thing with Christianity. So many of these new converts just relabeled their idols with Christian names, like Paul, Mary, and Peter. A statue of Jupiter became a statue of Peter. And we know that because it has a sun disk right over its head that indicates that this is not Peter but it's a pagan statue that's been renamed. The representations of Isis, which is originally an Egyptian goddess but has become very Greek already, becomes essentially the representation of Mary carrying her child. You have a mother and child tradition all the way down through history. Uh, you have it in Mithraism, you have it in Babylon, you have it all the way back in Persia. It appears that Mary acquired some of the characteristics that were associated with some of these other goddesses. She wears a dark blue coat and she stands on the half moon. She is the mother of all gods. Isis carrying her son Horus. That is the image that gets a new name and now the name is Mary carrying the child Jesus. Or a depiction of the god Hermes is shown as Christ the Good Shepherd. Soon the statues of the saints and even Jesus began adorning the churches even though God clearly forbids this practice in the Ten Commandments. People continue to revere and to pray to these relabeled idols. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. 